Now, may I introduce your host for this evening from Independent Television News, Miss Sue Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final event of Wild Screen, now established as one of the foremost wildlife film festivals in the world. There are some very elegant prizes, and once again the maker of the best film in the festival will receive a golden panda, a reflection of the involvement of the Worldwide Fund for Nature. And so, straight to our first award, which is for Revelation, for a film which throws new light on some aspect of natural history. This must be an increasingly difficult task, as programme after programme explores the apparent limits of knowledge and new ways of showing it. There were many films to be considered. We're going to show extracts from just three of them, two from Africa and one from California. But it's perhaps not surprising that these lionesses should show such fear. The hyena is not an animal to be underestimated. On the other hand, neither is the king of beasts. A moment's carelessness costs a hyena its life. Propelled by bursts of seawater, the males jet after the females and grasp them in an embrace of blushing tentacles. The color warns other suitors to keep off. The male then uses a special arm to deposit sperm under a fold in the female's body, the mantle. The transfer complete, the male may seek another mate. The female produces an egg case about as long as her body, which she has packed with 200 eggs. She searches for a sandy place to secure her precious cargo and digs down several inches to bury the small anchor to which the egg case is tethered. Despite all the years of research into lion behavior, infanticide has rarely been seen and never before filmed. For all its apparent ferocity, the killing is only an expression of the urgent demands of the situation. But if the male's behavior seems harshly pragmatic, perhaps the female's is even more surprising. Bereft of their cubs, the females now have exactly the same drives as the new males. They can expect around two years of stability. If they are to raise cubs, they must start immediately. Within as little as 24 hours after losing their cubs, the females come into season and start flirting outrageously with the new males.
And to announce the winner and present the award, I call on a filmmaker who's earned an honorable place in the record books as producer of the famous safari programs with Armand and Michaela Dennis. Now director of the Worldwide Fund for Nature in the Netherlands, Mr. Niels Halbetsma. Thank you indeed. We saw a great number of films and the jury was particularly impressed by the uh, three films of which you saw a small fragment. The uh, opalescent squids of the seasons of the sea, the uh, dramatic impact of uh, Queen of the Beasts and also by the tenacious night shooting which brought us the sisterhood. They uh, show us and inspire us with the wonder of life and are as essential as those showing the crisis our natural environment is in. Ladies and gentlemen, the Anglia Television Award for Revelation goes to the sisterhood and the producer and cameraman Richard Goss. <laughs> 